one here, and I just put one in the front. And I would go through the front tire and the, and the frame, so I would have actually two blue locks. One that goes through the front tire and the frame and the bike rack, and one goes through the back tire and the frame and the bike rack. This is still pretty good, the way he has it sit. See the degree of, of thickness? This is thicker. This is a thicker lock. It'll take you a little bit more time. You need a bigger pair of bolt cutters. And how about a cable like that connected to the U-lock? Is that effective? The cable connected to the U-lock? Yes, because he's got the front. He has the front tire, and this one is also going through the bike. Uh, yeah, but it would be very... If I was a bike thief, I would never go through this bike. It would take too long to, to break the you know, kind of lock. this lock here? This, like, this lock here would take somebody with, a, with a, a good pair of bolt cutters about 10 seconds to cut that lock. 10 seconds, really? Yeah. Seconds. So you just get a you know, you step up to it and basically chop it down? Yeah, exactly. Yep. It would take about 10 seconds to cut this off with a good pair of bolt cutters. And you know, one thing I. That's a very weird configuration, yes. Because <laughs> he wants his, wants somebody to seal the seat. Because ah. you also have people that come yes. and will steal like a tire or, or the, the seat. seat. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So he just wanted his seat stolen. <laughs> I'm just talking about this one right here. Yeah, the, the black swing. Yep. And so this is another one where it just basically bolt cutters and you're gone. Bolt cutters, uh, I'd say good 10, 15 seconds. You can cut right through that lock. Cool. So the moral of the story is don't lose it. Use a U lock.